Good morning guys. You might be wondering why I am bundled up in a blanket and that is because my heat went out yesterday and it's currently 35 degrees outside. My house is like 50 degrees or 55 degrees or something, but it's cold. Luckily I have someone coming this afternoon to look at the unit, but I am quite chilly. You can't tell this, but I have a blanket around my shoulders and I have a blanket wrapped around my legs and I will be drinking a lot of tea today <laughs> to try to stay warm, but that's not why I jumped on here. I was going to do a full day day of eating, but some things happened this morning and I already ate breakfast and I wasn't able to film it. So that was a fail. I decided that I'm gonna do 24 hours of eating starting now and just filming until tomorrow breakfast. If you're interested, I ate like a couple eggs and an English muffin for breakfast this morning. But anyways, I just didn't get around to filming it. So yes, I will show you from this point, 9 a.m. to <laughs> tomorrow at 9 a.m. So it's like a 24 hours of eating and eating disorder recovery. Trigger warning, we're gonna be talking about eating disorders you're gonna be seeing what I'm eating. And if any of that triggers you, just go ahead and click away. And if you are struggling with an eating disorder, please go get help. Don't take anything that I'm eating as what you should be eating. Everyone's different. I'm not telling you what to eat. I'm just kind of showing you what I'm eating. Please go talk to a dietitian, a nutritionist, a medical professional if, if that's what you need. Two hours later. I'm honestly feeling guilty right now because I almost decided to not do this video. I'm looking at my day and realizing that I'm actually really quite hungry and I'm kind of surprised because I don't normally eat lunch until like 12 or 1 and it's not even 11 and I'm hungry. I went and I grabbed some trail mix. I've already had like two small handfuls of this and I just feel like snacking. I think I'm gonna have mac and cheese for lunch. I'm feeling in this weird place where I almost just want to eat comfort food and I'm feeling guilty about it. <laughs> To be perfectly honest, I feel like this is not what I should be showing. But on the flip side, I know if I don't eat and I just try to only eat clean or not snack or whatever, like that's my temptation, then I'm going to eventually binge or my extreme hunger is gonna get a lot worse. But I, I almost feel like a bit of that extreme hunger today, which is a little bit odd. I wasn't, I was not anticipating that. So this is gonna be a really interesting 24 hour period. I think this is gonna be one of those days where I'm kind of experiencing mental hunger, even if not physical hunger right now. I'm feeling physical hunger but also I'm just kind of feeling mentally hungry. I'm craving some weird foods. So I guess we'll just go with the flow. And this is the thing about recovery. It's not really predictable, but I'm definitely going to try not to restrict. I'm, I'm not gonna restrict. I'm gonna eat what I'm craving. Right now that's these, um, I'm drawing a blank. It's trail mix is what I'm trying to say. And honestly, I'm probably gonna go eat lunch in 30 minutes because I'm hungry and I don't know. I just don't know if I should be showing this, but I guess I wanna get across that it's normal. It's normal to snack. It's normal to have cravings. It's normal to eat. And it's normal to have days when you're like way hungrier than other days. Like I wasn't this hungry yesterday. Don't mind my rant, but I want this channel to be honest and it would be very dishonest of me to not film this video because I'm having a weird day of eating. That's. That's literally what this channel is about. It's my recovery journey. There's a reason my body is hungry right now, whether it's from stress, whether it's because I've been working hard, whether it's because whatever it is, I don't have to justify my hunger. If I'm hungry, I should eat. And I'm still freezing, by the way. I thought about taking my laptop and going to like a coffee shop and working, but I have someone coming to look at the AC unit in like an hour. Well, it's a range. It was anywhere between like 12 and two. So I need to stick around here during that time. I came into my office to eat this because I didn't want to take my camera out into the kitchen and I was feeling guilty and such nonsense, but I'm gonna take my camera out to the kitchen. I might just go make lunch right now. I'll see how I'm feeling in a couple minutes. I'm kind of at a roadblock, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go wash my face because I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna clean the kitchen and then I'm gonna see how I'm feeling. I'll probably just make lunch at that time. I'll touch base with myself after I've done that and see if I'm hungry to make lunch or how I'm feeling and what I need to do next. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading in all these photos. Caught in the memories and captured in the Light change of plans. I don't know if you can tell, but my kitchen is kind of moved around. Let me try to explain this. Whoever designed this kitchen, there wasn't much of a design uh, involved in the designing of the kitchen because my refrigerator was previously right there. So it was on this wall and blocking like a bunch of the countertop space. I've been meaning to move it 
over here for a while and my little brother and um, one of the other guys that lives next door they just came and helped me move it i was i just i had just finished washing my face and brushing my teeth and they said hey can we come over now so i emptied everything onto the counter they're mostly everything i think there's a few things left in the fridge but mostly everything on the counters this will give me so much more countertop space also i apologize if this is boring like you can go ahead and skip it but this is this is my life i don't know if anyone finds this interesting but anyway so i'm going to clean all this this will be really nice to oh does someone just Thought someone just knocked on the door. It'll be really nice to um, get my kitchen a bit organized and finally have some space. Oh, and, okay, I'm gonna just grab the camera here. Point out this way. Okay, so here's the fridge now. Obviously, this is my kitchen table. This is ugly right now, okay? It's just the back of the refrigerator, but my plan is to get a cabinet off of Amazon or Facebook Marketplace or somewhere and put a cabinet here. So then I have more storage and it covers up the back of the refrigerator. So the joys of home ownership. Oh, it was really funny. The guys came over and they're like, it's so cold in here. So they both left to go get jackets. And I'm like, yeah, I know it's freezing. It's, it's 55 degrees in here. I actually can't, like my feet are so cold. I like my feet are almost numb right now. It's okay. The AC guy should be coming any minute. Obviously plans have changed a little bit. I'm going to quickly put away all the food before it like melts and thaws. Clean up a little bit. Obviously where the fridge was is kind of gross right now on the floor. And then I am officially going to make lunch. a morning so far. Ugh. I paused mid clean because someone who lived next door wanted to talk to me. So I went and hid the camera and chatted with him for a while. Anyways, I need to get over this fear of not wanting to film in front of people. But again, no one knows I have YouTube channels. So then I just came back and finished cleaning. I was kind of on a roll. It is now 1240 and I am very hungry. So I was originally going to make mac and cheese. I think I actually mentioned that, but in looking through what I have, I actually have all the stuff for tacos. So I'm going to make some tacos. And while I am making tacos, because I am so hungry, I'm going to snack on some carrots and hummus. And I will probably finish up these uh, chocolate covered mangoes. I only have like a couple or like a few more pieces in here. Oh my word, these are so good. I got, well, someone gave them to me, but they're from Costco. Highly, highly recommend. They are very, very good. Um, and I'm just gonna show you. Okay, this is a small piece, but it's like, it's dried mango covered in dark chocolate. Oh, mm, it's so good. Don't mind the bad lighting, but I have my lunch here. I have two tacos here, tortilla, <laughs> tortilla, tortilla. Someone that I knew used to say it, tortilla, so. I have two tortillas. I have some onions, tomatoes, lettuce, salsa, avocado. I have about probably just less than half of an avocado here and a little bit of cheese on each of these. Yeah, so I was really hoping I wouldn't have problems with this unit for, uh, a, really for a long time. time. I mean, I know it's getting old, Older, but um, thinking it would be such a good thing to replace the capacitor, and I think that's what ended up um, messing it up. So I am back. It is 4:11 p.m. I don't even remember when I last touched base with you. I think I was eating lunch. Since then, good news: my AC is officially fixed, and I have heat. Hallelujah! This is gonna sound really dumb, but it was literally just a wire out of place because I was messing around there, and a couple days ago, fixing a capacitor. Anyways, whatever. The point is, thank goodness it was an easy fix, and I have heat now, so I am so happy. Also, I changed because I was filming another video, and also I was playing with this cat outside and it got on my sweater and my allergies were going crazy so I needed to change and also my eyes probably like really red and swollen still because I was rubbing it because I'm very allergic to cats and I should know better than to pet them. Anywho, I've been working, it's been really productive and um, I'm waiting for a new version of Premiere Pro to install and I am hungry and I talked about this earlier, today has been a crazy day, I've been craving sweets and a lot of food, I'm really hungry even though I ate like a few hours ago, usually I don't get this hungry this quickly but I'm going to 
to eat the leftovers of this piece of cheesecake. I don't know if you can see. There's not that much left, but it will be plenty for me. I got this, I don't remember, a few days ago, and I've just been eating like a few bites a day. I'm gonna eat this, go back, finish working. I'm actually leaving in a couple hours to drive out to my parents' place for supper. I should let you know that I'm gonna film what I'm eating out there on my phone very discreetly, not with my camera, because again, I'm not gonna bring my camera out there. I'm realizing that you can see in the background that I have my Christmas tree set up. I am so happy I got a Christmas tree a few days ago, my own Christmas tree in my own house. It makes me so happy, but I still need to decorate it. So maybe I'll film me decorating it, I don't know. Actually, no, I won't. I don't know when that's gonna happen. And some people would argue that I'm setting it up too early because I don't know when this video is gonna be posted, but it is not after Thanksgiving yet. It is currently Friday, November 19th. So I have received a little bit of hate from people who think that I've put it up too early, but I don't care because Christmas time only comes once a year and I'm going to enjoy every bit of it. So take that, haters. <laughs> I'm just kidding, no one's been hating, it's mostly just people joking about it, but whatever. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights I don't know why I'm whispering. I feel like I should be whispering. It's, it's almost six and I'm about to head out to my parents' place. I'm taking my little brother and one of our friends. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little sick after the cheesecake. My stomach is just kind of upset, so maybe shouldn't have eaten that. But anyways, this afternoon has been pretty productive and I am excited to go home. <laughs> and I'll try to try to film some sneaky videos. No grande, mayor. You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Good morning guys, it's the next day And if you're thinking, aren't you wearing the same thing you wore yesterday? Yes, yes I am But I only wore it in the afternoon and evening yesterday So I didn't get it dirty I am going to go out for breakfast with one of my friends Friends. Again, this is gonna be a situation where I like discreetly film what I'm eating. Editing Christy here. Uh, so I completely, totally forgot to film what I was eating for breakfast. I was suspicious that would happen. <laughs> I was trying really hard not to forget and I forgot. But the good thing is I do remember what I ate and I will put a picture on the screen, but I ate an Asagio, Asiago, however you wanna say it, bagel from Panera Bread. And I had oatmeal with nuts and strawberries. And I ate, I ate most of that. I think there was probably like a third left in the bowl because I just wasn't hungry enough to eat all of it. So I recognize major fail, I'm sorry, but at least I remember what I ate. But I'm actually, I'm making coffee right now. It's brewing in the background and I'm gonna take that with me. And in my coffee, I just put a little bit of almond milk and like a tiny dash of creamer. This is gonna conclude my 24 hours of eating. It, it's been a weird, it's been a weird 24 hours of me just kind of being hungrier than usual and having more of a sweet tooth than usual. It's, it just is what it is. Some days you eat more, some days you eat less. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Again, I'm not telling you what to eat. I'm just showing you what I eat in 24 hours. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it really supports my channel. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys.